Hello my beautiful friends, I've got a video for you guys today. Today is another collaboration with the Glitter Girls. This is a video on how to reverse stamp. But I'm going to be using this Mermaid Magic from LA Colors. This is a regular nail polish. It's a gold holographic glitter. So pretty guys. It's called Golden Sand. Love it. Got it my local Walmart. And this one is from Max Estrada. This is in a couture and this is number 120. I'm going to be applying that over top of them. Now, I did go ahead and put my base color on first, which was the um, first color that I showed you. But now, I'm just going to apply this over top of it. And I'm going to do all 10 nails. And once I do that, we'll, I'll come back and we are going to learn how to reverse stamp. I hope this video helps you guys. Let me know down below if you have problems in reverse stamping or if you've ever tried it before. I would love to know your opinions, guys. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Alright guys, so I'm using this Monday Day Unis um, stamping plate that I ordered a while back. This has got like horses and unicorns on it. Really cute and the images are really small on it. So if you have short nails, this is perfect because the images are a lot smaller than most normal stamping plates. So I think you guys would like this really well. You want to make sure you wipe your plate off with alcohol or acetone. Actually, not alcohol, acetone. And just using the um, black from uh, Maniology. And we're just going to easily slide it over. You want to look for an image that is, um, how do you say it? Like it's hollow on the inside. So that way when you stamp it, you can actually color the inside of it. Um, as you, and make sure you remove any images that you don't want on your stamper. Now, I'm going to leave this on my stamper so I can color it in while it's on there. So I can actually, uh, if I need to look through the stamper, that I can and see what mistakes I have made or that I need to fix. Um, but let's go ahead and stamp a few more images. So I'm going to do another one here. Um, it does help to have multiple stampers if you have them. Um, if not, that's fine. You can do one image at a time. I do like to have a couple of stampers. That way, if I decide to do several different fingers, I can. Now, I'm using regular polish here. Um, you can use stamping polish if you like. You can use regular polish. Um, I have known I'd like to use gel polish, and you can cure it under your light. But if you use gel polish, it does make it a little stiffer. So, you'd have to use a base coat to um, get that stickiness for it to apply. Um... But I am just going to go and color in all the images that I want to color. You want to color in everything that's on the stamper though. Because even though you have short nails, you may decide to use more of the image than what you want. And I don't know if that makes any sense to you. Like you can move the image around to where you want it on your finger. So I just go ahead and color the whole image in. So that way I can decide what I want on my finger or not. So, But this is like a My Little Pony image. And so I'm just going to go ahead and color all that in and then once we get both images colored in I'll be back to show you how I'm going to apply them. 